In this video, we're going to take a look at how Cloudflare Apps updates the preview and how we can use that knowledge to make our apps better. You can find the preview here on the right, where we show a live version of the user's web page with your app installed on it. On the left, we have the options that they select, and far on the right here, I have the code that powers this app. In this case, we're looking at our YouTube Embed app example that you can find linked to in the description. One issue with this app is that whenever I change an option, in order to see that change in my preview, I have to wait for the page to reload. This certainly works, but it doesn't provide the best possible experience for the user. So is there a way that we can eliminate this delay, that we can make it so that I can move this preview around or change the video or any other settings that your app may have and see that change appear immediately on the page with no reload required? And the answer is yes. Instead of having the entire page reload, we can tell Cloudflare apps that we would rather run some JavaScript on this page to make the change. In order to learn more about doing that, I'm going to take a look at our developer documentation. In particular, the section on preview. In the section called how to enable live update, you can find a section of install.json configuration which can be used to tell us what JavaScript to run when which options are changed. In this example here on the left, for the Add Markdown app, when any option is changed, instead of the whole page getting reloaded, we're going to instead just run this code on the page being previewed. So let's copy that into our install.json. So this doesn't quite match the name of the app that we're using here, so let's change it. And let's add this function into our app.js. Now if we take a look at our console, we'll now see these options get logged whenever they get changed, and the page does not get reloaded. So instead of just logging, let's do something a little bit more valuable. In order to make this easy, I'm going to make a new function, which I use whenever I want to re-render our app. And I'll call that function immediately when the page loads. But I can also call it when our options get changed. And I'll keep track of what those options are. So now whenever the options get changed, we recall the render function. Now one thing to keep in mind is we don't want to create a dozen different elements on the page one after each change. Fortunately, create element knows how to handle this for us. All we have to do is pass our previous element in as the second argument. So we'll save this and see it update. I can now pick a new location on the page and have the video instantly move right there. I can even change the video ID and have it update as well. Now one last thing, rather than putting this YouTube embed in the global scope where it can interfere with something running on the user's page, we can use our special install scope object. 